Om Shanti, welcome. We are here with 11th of October's Godly Blessing. Leaving all our responsibilities to God, that means worldly responsibility mostly. And then secondly, how do I do service? What do I say? How do, how do I bring more people closer to God? Thinking about how to even serve in spirituality can become a stress in our life. But leaving it to God, now that is something which we need to do. But for that, there's a condition. Being connected with God, that means being having a yoga or a union with God is very important. Otherwise, we might be leaving it to God, but we might be sinning at the same time. Now that doesn't work because that's against the law of karma. So leaving it to God has conditions. We provided we are following His guidance, provided we are doing the things in a righteous manner and then leaving it to God. So here God says, may you be a successful server by handing over the burden of all your responsibilities to the Father and remaining constantly carefree. By the way, conditions apply. To be to the extent that your children remain light, the more you elevate service and yourself. Now, how do you remain light? If we keep on thinking thoughts of negativity, impurity or vengeance, or uh, disdain or looking down on other people then we can't be lighter in our mind that's why it has to be totally opposite of all these four aspects which are negative aspects or impure aspects and what do we do we have to learn the purer aspects go deeper into the heart of purity of God then God says that is, you will continue to make progress therefore hand over all your responsibilities to the father and remain carefree let there be no type of burden of the consciousness of I. Now, I here is pointing towards ego. I have the idea. It's my idea. It's my method. It's my money. My body. And this I is completely impure. So, this should not be the burden of the consciousness of I means we have to remove the I and that is the biggest burden in our life. Maintain the constant intoxication of remembrance. So the false I is I, my body. That means we think of ourselves as a body and everything around us is mine. Whereas in devotion we say God you gave us everything but at the same time we say everything is mine. So see these are the things which we contradict. And then the consciousness becomes different and then we start fighting for it. And that's where the wars in the world are for. My land, my property, my religion, defending it. And that's where all the problem comes in. So God says, stay combined with the Father. The real me is the soul. And if we consider everybody as a soul, as an energy, then we belong to one creator. Physical religions can be different. But internally, the truth is what combines and what doesn't divide us all is soul consciousness that is a soul so stay combined with the father now how do we stay combined with the father or the creator or the father of knowledge father of peace father of happiness father of joy father of contentment just like we have father of mathematics or father of geography or father of philosophy here we have father of all the love and peace and happiness and joy and divine knowledge and the creation knowledge of the creation he's the father of all that so stay combined with the Father. How do we do that? When we are soul conscious, I am a soul, he is a supreme soul, the ultimate destiny, that means connecting with the creator, for wherever the Father is, service is already accomplished there. If it's I, it's difficult. If Father is there with us, the creator is there with us, we are following his guidance, doing things as for his guidance and purifying ourselves and being prepared and being ready for serving, then it is that he is there with us. Karan Karavan Har is making you do everything. And so you will remain light and be successful too. Won't be heavy. Because if I think I am doing it, then I will have heaviness. But if I think he is using me to do it or guiding me to do it and I am in connection with him while doing it, provided that is their connection, then we will be successful too and we will be lighter. How do we do this is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis. And it's a process. It's not that in one day itself we are connected to him and everything is going perfect. We'll have ups and downs, but we try to overcome them with spiritual knowledge. You too can come and learn this beautiful part. Om Shanti with this.